I first met Sherelle? I believe it was the night in November and it was a Saturday. The first night I met Miguel was November 14th, 2009 and I remember the date because it was Angie Perez's 30th birthday party. Uh, I was working in a Flamingo's ballroom. And I suggested Flamingo's. It was pretty wild. <laughs> if you've ever been to Flamingo's for the first time, you know what I'm talking about. I remember it was kind of a busy night. It was packed. A band on stage, they all had matching white sparkly suits and they were singing Mexican country music, I guess. I thought at first because they all had cowboy boots on and cowboy hats. Then you know, I was just there working, chilling, whatever. And then I saw this girl, right? And the bartender, who was Miguel, was there and I remember telling my friend Amanda instantly, I was like, our bartender is really cute. So I ordered a drink for my friend Amanda and some other people ordered drinks at the same time as us, which will come into play later. It's Miriam or Marcella, and they came to me and they say, hey, you see that girl? I'm like, which one? I'm like, the one in the leopard dress. Both of them came up to me and said, you know, this is our friend Miguel, the bartender, and he, uh, he says you're cute. And I said, well, I think he's cute too. Cute. And then she's like, well, I think she likes you. And I'm like, what? She's like, yeah, she told me that you were hot or something. And I'm like, hey, that's cool. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, I was sort of back and forth with him. And I, when I wanted a break from dancing, I'd go and sit up at the bar and talk to him for a few minutes. I started playing with Sherelle. So then uh, at the end of the night, I guess I build the courage and I dance with her for a little while and ask her for her number. Later that night, he's working as a bartender, but he took a little break, I guess, from the bar and asked me to dance at the very end, and uh, it was a dance I'd never danced before. We were trotting around in a little circle to some weird travel music, and it was, it was the first time I'd ever done that, and he was trying to teach me, and so after all this flirting and dancing, I knew at the end of the night that at least my bar tab would be not very much. And when I went up to close my tab, he had charged me more than what I actually bought. He had charged me for other girls that were with us, like what they were drinking that night. So I ended up having a bigger tab than I expected. And of course I gave him a big tip because I thought he was cute. Right before I left, he, he asked me to go downtown with some of his and his friends and I, I really wanted to. But I didn't because I was a good friend that night and I took my friend home. However, he did get my number and we ended up texting back and forth until 4 or 5 in the morning. And we text all night long. I went out with my friends, but I was still texting her all night long. And then after that, we start hanging out. And then things happen and we've been together ever since. Our first date. On our first date, um, I think it was, I don't know if it was Sunday. It was the Monday after we met. We invited her to our house. He had invited me over to his house, which I'd never been to, and he was still kind of a stranger. Which our house can be kind of scary. We used to live in 1400 Mark Avenue, and uh, the house was not very well taken care of. So, I get there. He told me him and his brother were over there gonna watch some movies and have some dinner, so I was expecting there to be some people over there, and when I got there, it was completely dark. There were no lights on in the house. Um, so, in order for her to like, get inside the house, she couldn't use the front door because we have couches there. It was I went and knocked on the front door, but he came around through the garage and said we had to go through the garage, and I found out later there was furniture in front of the door. She had to come through the garage. And we didn't have lights on the on the living room, so I guess when she came in, it was like completely dark. But we go in, and I can't see anything, which later I realized is because it was really messy, and he didn't want me to see the mess, so he turned all the lights off. And she probably freaked out because it's her first day, so you know, <laughs> I get freaked out with things like that. And there was nobody in the house but me. Your brother did eventually home and hang out with us for a little bit. We were there watching movies and um, my mom was cooking barbacoa that night, which I have to like help her fix and cook.
got it, which if anybody doesn't know what Barocco is, you know, it's like brisket and cow head, which I don't think she'll ever seen a cow head in her life. <laughs> he made me some dinner, he made me tacos, so I guess that was foresight to a very long future of tacos together. And um, we ate barbacoa tacos, which she tried. And he fed me barbacoa for the first time, and I really, really liked it. Uh, it was very tasty, and it's probably today my still my favorite taco. He then showed me a whole bunch of videos about them going to Galveston for like three hours. <laughs> all these pictures on the PlayStation about his awesome trip to Galveston that they had just taken a couple months before that. But uh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a fun first, it was a fun first day. Yeah, uh, did we kiss on our first day? Did we kiss on the first day? Yes. 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 special person and that he would be somebody in my life for a long time. That yeah, pretty, pretty quick. I guess within like the first month. Because I seeing that this girl I was with was pretty special and uh, I didn't want to be without her. I mean, it was really, it was really fantastic because we fell in love so quickly and we both did really quickly and it was a lot of fun and, and then it lasted. Fade. I'm still crazy about him and I still get excited when I see him if I haven't seen him all day and I think that's a good sign. Okay, yeah, um, my favorite is a good trait of Sherelle. Well, I, I want to say that she has really pretty eyes. Well, the first physical feature that I noticed about Miguel that I loved was the scar on his lip. Because I'm a huge Joaquin Phoenix fan, and it reminded me of that, and I thought it was super adorable. <laughs> and he kind of talks with a little slant, and it's super cute. But, uh, I like her butt. <laughs> I'd have to say his butt is also my, my favorite feature. 